Hi there, Light to Ones. This is Samantha Shanklin here again with another episode. Now, today I want to talk about, <laughs> let's see, um, how, I feel like the, how I feel like cable TV and um, the TV networks are in cahoots together. Now, follow me. Back when I was younger, you know, the regular channels um, were were pretty decent and it was a lot of them. So, um, yeah, it wasn't as many channels on regular TV as it is on cable, but it still was a lot of, a lot of channels and it was free. It was free and cable was kind of like a luxury now what has happened is that if you want to even really watch TV and remotely enjoy it you have to get cable and all the networks are now putting their shows on cable why is that I think that is unfair and that's foul I do feel like um, the cable companies are in cahoots with the TV networks and I said it because they're well they in cahoots to, to screw over to fuck over um, everybody um, to fuck over people <laughs> okay to get our money because if you think about it if they don't put um, if they put all these channels on cable all I mean if they put most of the channels on cable especially all the good ones and, and they're, not, they're not even putting all the good ch um, channels on um, cable now like well let me take that back okay let, let's say for example okay back in the day cable used to have specialty shows you know something that you know was kind of out of the norm but on regular TV they had you know mostly most of all the programming was on regular TV and cable was you know they had the boxing on there like pay-per-view or they or some certain sports channels or you know certain movies but now they have stuff that should be on regular TV on cable now so if you just want to remotely enjoy watching TV you really need to have cable now for example the on cable now they have like the um, animal channel with shows like the gorillas and and um, the lions and tigers out in their natural habitat. Why? That's on cable? Shouldn't that be on regular TV? I mean, it, it just it went too far now. And the reason why I said they're in cahoots together is because it's not that many cable um, companies out here. So by them not having that much competition, think about it. You got Comcast, Xfinity, I think AT&T. It's not that many of them So over here in the U.S. So... Think about it. Um, they don't have much competition, and they can kind of come together and, and set a price. Um, so, for two cable boxes, um, most people have two TVs in their house and one cable on it. They charge you for each the extra cable box. They charge you for each cable box. I think they charge you for the service. Most people bill is about a hundred dollars a month, and then I know when I get the bill, it's different every month. Like they go up. They have all these extra fees and everything. So they keep going up. And then you say, well, screw it, I'm going to go to another cable company. Well, their prices are just as high. They are, the, the cable companies have a monopoly on this, okay, to where if they want to charge $200 or $500 a month, they could. But they're not because they know most people don't make that much money. The average person is working, you know, paycheck to paycheck don't have because these jobs don't pay shit. So they're not even making that much money. So they're not going to make the cable bills too high, but they're going to still make it high up to where they're getting bank. okay? And I feel they're in cahoots with the networks because... Why you just can't put your stuff on regular TV? Why does it have to be on cable? I know this it's a lot of technical stuff behind the scenes going on, but I still feel like the cable company and the TV um the TV stations, the TV networks are in cahoots together to basically screw over the um the public to get our money. Because back in the day, um regular TV had most of the channels. You know, you, you know, now all the good channels are on cable and not even the good channels now just damn it, all the channels are on cable. Like if you basically want to watch TV, you need to pretty much have cable. Now back in the day, you didn't have to have cable in, in order to, to enjoy TV because they still had a lot of the programs and shows on regular TV. Now you damn it, have to get cable. They didn't put all of the programs damn their own cable now and then okay so now you gotta now you have to pay for the tv on top of them a hundred dollars a month to enjoy watching tv and then like you said they're not even just putting all the good stuff of specialty shows on cable now they're putting regular stuff on there now like like i said the the, the uh the shows about the animals in nature i mean you can't put that on regular tv that has to be on cable that's a specialty show i think cable should be considered Cable should be looked at, at looked at as a specialty um, service, meaning all the specialty shows that's out the norm should be on cable. But um, they have put everything on cable now. So okay, so if you want to enjoy TV, now you gotta have cable. Well, you only got so many um, cable companies to go to. Now, if you only got four or five of them to go to, you gonna rotate through those five to see who has the cheapest rates. Well, what they're gonna do is they're gonna come together and make sure they keep the rates kind of high, around a hundred dollars a month. That way, they can screw over everybody. You see, you see how this works?
think about that for a second. 